Okay, in this video we're going to do some calculations. I'm going to uh, give you some problems and we're going to solve them together. And I'm also going to show you how to use the calculator as well as uh, how to format your homework when you're doing uh, the assignments. So for the first, I, I believe for the first two assignments that I give you for Pythagorean Theorem, I want you to write it out a certain way because I'm not only grading you on the correct answer, I'm also grading you on, on the formatting of the homework. So, uh, so anyway, let, we'll go through it together. You will need a calculator uh, because you're, though you're going to be writing things out to get it set up and started, the, you're going to let the calculator do all of the work and so make sure your calculator is nearby. Okay, we're going to start. Uh, notice that I wrote down the shortcut formulas off to the side just as, um, you know, I could do a quick review to pick the correct formula. Um, I recommend that you commit these formulas to memory. Okay, in the first problem, I'm going to go ahead and draw a triangle and we've got um, a right triangle. And let's say we're trying to figure out the A side, but I'm going to say the B side is going to be 12 inches and the C side will be 15 inches long. Okay, so we're trying to figure out the A side. Knowing that I'm going to figure out the A side, I'm going to choose this formula here and my first step is to write down that formula. Okay, now the second step is to plug in the numbers that are given into the formula. So we're solving for A and I'm going to put under the square root sign um, 15 squared minus 12 squared. Okay, now you can put uh, parentheses around those if you wish. Um, the calculator is going to put an open parentheses and um, so if you want to put a closing parentheses you can do that as well. Now the third thing that you're going to do is get out your calculator and we're going to let the calculator uh, do all of the work. So uh, let's go ahead and review really quick where that square root button is. It's going to be above this X2 button so if you see right here it's in between the X2 and that uh, kind of that caret button see the square root sign. Now to access that square root sign we have to punch in the second button and then the X2 and then that will give us the square root. And notice it does give you an open parentheses uh, to begin. Next we're going to punch in 15 X2. The X2 button squares it minus 12 X2. I could put a closing you don't have to, you're going to get the same answer otherwise and then enter and in this case we're going to get 9 and that would be 9 inches. Okay, so 9 inches. So for this particular problem there's just three things. You've got, uh, you're writing the shortcut formula, you're plugging in and then you do let the calculator do the work and in this problem we got a nice uh, whole number with no decimals and so we don't have to do any conversions. But the next problem is going to be different. So let's move on to problem number two. Again I like to draw uh, a triangle to represent uh, my work and I'm going to say side A is 5 inches and side C is 16 inches and we're going to solve B, side B. Okay, so if you don't have the formulas committed to memory, uh, you can see this is what B is. So again, the first step is to write uh, B equals the square root of C squared minus A squared. Okay, now the second thing I'm going to do is plug in the numbers that are given. Uh, we don't know B, but we do know C, that's 16 squared minus 5 squared. Now the third thing is to let the calculator do all the work and plug everything in 
Now in this case, we get 15.19868415. What we're going to do is write down the 15, and we're going to round to three decimal places. So 1986 is going to become 0.199, and that's in inches. I don't know if you can see that very well. Now, keep this number in your calculator. We're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna do the next step using these numbers. We're not uh, we're not gonna just erase and the, or clear and then punch in the 199. Okay, I want you to write this out the way. Uh, I want you to round to three decimal places, but we're going to use the number in the calculator. And the reason being is that uh, this, I want to see this, um, but whether you use this number or the, the, the more accurate number, you're likely going to come up with the same fractional amount. So again, to get uh, to a fraction, we're going to convert to the nearest sixteenth on this, on, uh, this assignment, at least, for uh, the next couple assignments. So subtract 15, and then multiply this number by 16, and that gives us 3 sixteenths. So 3.1 is going to be 3 sixteenths. So this answer is going to be 15 and 3 sixteenths. I cannot reduce. If I could, I would go ahead and reduce, um, and then this would be my final answer. Okay. Now, we'll do one more problem. And um, let's say we're going to solve for C. So again, I'm going to draw a picture. And we'll draw it this way. And we'll say this is C. We don't know what that is. A is going to be 11 inches, and B will be 21 inches. OK. Um, now, because I'm solving for C, this is the formula I want to write down. So C equals the square root A squared plus B squared. The second step is to plug in the numbers that are given. 11 squared plus 21 squared. Now I just want to make a, a little note here. Um, A and B are basically interchangeable. So if I don't give you specifically what A and B is, um, but have just have a picture, and it's obvious that the hypotenuse is C, then you know these two could potentially be interchanged. It's, it won't make a difference in your calculation. So now we're going to use the calculator. Let's go ahead and clear. Um, square root 11 squared plus 21 squared. Notice that that was an addition problem and not subtraction like the last problems. Uh, 23. Point seven zero six five, so that's going to bump that six to a seven. So twenty three point seven zero seven. Uh, yeah. Now um, we're going to go ahead and convert that to the nearest sixteenth. And you know, I'm going to do a little estimation. Um, it looks like it's going to be more than a, a half. Uh, but a little less than uh, three quarters, so hopefully we get that. Uh, let's see, minus 23 times 16, and that's going to be 11 sixteenths. So that was uh, three quarters of an inch, so 11 sixteenths, that is in fact less than three quarters of an inch. It's one sixteenth less. But anyway, uh, 23 and 11 sixteenths. And that would be my final answer. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you um, we are going to be doing these types of problems, but using measurement. And it is a little more complicated in that be in the fact that you're going to be working with a lot of numbers, and so it's essential for you to write out uh, the formula and then plug in all the numbers before you input it into the calculator. And we mainly do that because we don't want to have to think and look for numbers at the same time. It will really save, save you when you're uh, doing these types of problems. Anyway, this should get you going, um, and we'll move on to the next one.